In this video, I'll show you how to fix your Total War Warhammer after the last patch, the Grim and the Grave, because mine no longer starts after the last patch. You see all these osomium processes starting, and this is the anti-cheat mechanism, kind of like punk busters. So if you kill one of these, all these other processes will restart these other processes and, and uh, so it's almost impossible to kill the anti-cheat processes. That's how they keep you from running hacks and stuff like that. But I'll show you what happens when I press play. Nothing happens. It just goes blank. All these processes die. And Total War doesn't open up. And this happened after the last patch. Okay, see, all the uh, stuff died. So, we're going to close down Steam. And what I'm getting is a event ID 33 every time I run the Total Warhammer. And this means that a Microsoft Visual C++ package is corrupt or didn't get installed why they don't include this executable with this game I don't know I have had no errors on any other games I had um, and Total War worked fine before the last patch so what I did I went to Google and searched for event ID 33 and came up with this uh, error on a PDB copy which is a debug copy basically and it pointed you towards this website to download the Microsoft Visual C++ and you will select your language and click download. Once you have your C++ redistributable executable downloaded, kill your antivirus because you don't want it interfering. Right click the file. Always check to make sure it's digitally signed don't go to these websites that say, oh, download this DLL and it'll fix your problem. Don't ever do that. Make sure it's a legitimate program from Microsoft and that the certificate path is okay and all these certificates are okay. That's how you verify that a executable is legit. Right-click the uh, vCred redist and run as a admin click next click I agree restart your antivirus and restart total war click play and voila your total war is working and it'll pop up. It wants to go out to the internet, so we'll allow that on port 80. But it's working now, and that's how you fix your total war.